Okay, so to pick up from where we left off, um, I'm going to try to analyze this sonnet on a little bit of a deeper level. Um, okay, so to start off, like obviously this this sonnet is very pessimistic, whether it be through Shakespeare or the perspective that he's adopting. Um, this poet is definitely a very pessimistic person. They're only choosing to see all of the wrongs in society, and they're choosing to adopt those wrongs in their primary viewpoint and perspective of life in its entirety. Obviously, we know that there, you know, there's good in life, there's bad in life, there are many different types of graces in life. Um, and nothing in life is entirely good or evil. Um, and this poet primarily sees what he thinks is the evil in life, the the objectively wrong from what he sees in life. He only chooses to nitpick that, um, those parts of life in society, and he's so distraught by that that he nearly wants to take his own life. And so um, that really shows the power of perspective, of what perspective can do to someone's mindset, of what perspective can do to someone's outlook on life in its entirety. Um, Shakespeare really does a good job of, of, of illuminating that sort of darkness by by incorporating a kind of contrasting method. So um, this poet really just says that he, um, he at first he uses these sort of like societal, what he, um, societal merits like in society he uses what's good in society and then just says oh well it's just being misplaced it's just being um disgraced um he's just saying that stuff like faith and honor and virtue aren't being properly recognized in society that what is morally good is completely being trashed by the current by the current society and he is so distraught by that that like i said um he, the only thing that's, that he's holding on to is the person that he loves. And so Shakespeare really does a good job at, um, at, at first using what's, what we know as good and then describing how they're being misplaced and disgraced and, dis and disabled. And so to nitpick on a few examples, he says on line nine, an art made tongue tied by authority. Um, art like writing or, like science or other creations of the human mind being disgraced and not recognized properly by those in authority and those in power, really shutting down a component of humanity that we know so well. Um, another example, um, and right perfection wrongfully disgraced, what um, we know um, to be good and true being disgraced by the people in society. Um, he can... Um, really, actually, it's not really known whether he sees this on a very large societal level or whether he just sees this as specific examples of what he sees in the people around him. So, um, really, to try to analyze this, this viewpoint, um, it could just not be entirely based on merit in the first place, simply because we don't know how the person is obtaining um, the different viewpoints that he's getting. We don't know how he generalizes his viewpoints of society. Um, he don't, we don't know what he's, what he or she has experienced. We don't know what they've seen through the people around them. It really goes to show how much, how important, um, life's experiences are and molding how you see, um, how you see the people around you and how you see the society as a whole. And so Shakespeare really tells us, hey, like, perspective is important. Experiences are important. We don't know what this poet has gone through in his or her own life. We don't know what they've seen in the people around them. We don't know what they've, we don't know the current events that are going on in this person's life. And so and we can assume that it's negative, right? But in the end, we don't know what the person is going through. We could say that society really is bad. Or we could say that on an individual level for this person, um, the the um, the evils that this person perceives in this society are overblown. From like our perspective, this is what that person could be going through. And so um, it's really not just black and white. It's really not just this person sees all the wrongs in society. There's a lot of 